Enritsu test and measurements offer the MT-1000A Network Master Pro, a portable handheld transport and optical tester used by carriers, contractors, and engineers performing 4G and 5G measurements in both field and lab applications. In this video walkthrough, we'll demonstrate how the MT-1000A measures IEEE 1588v2 PTP performance including timing error and protocol verification for telecom profiles G.8275.1 and .2. Prior to starting the test, connect the aux adapter cable to the aux connectors on the mainframe and test module. Next, connect the reference 1PPS to the 1PPS output of the tester and secure the aux adapter cable by tightening the standard screws on both the mainframe and test module. Finally, using the BNC coax cable, connect the 10 MHz out on the test module to the external clock input on the mainframe. These connections can remain on the unit at all times and do not need to be removed when performing other tests. With the AC adapter plugged in, power on the MT-1000A, and when the MU-1090A information window appears, press OK. This will initialize the 90A module required for the PTP sync test measurements, which can be viewed by pressing the GPS icon in the lower toolbar. The unit requires three hours for the 90A module to properly warm up before synchronizing to a GPS reference. The OSC LED light will illuminate green on the top of the tester during the warm-up period. After the three-hour warm-up period, connect the GPS receiver provided by Enritsu or your own GPS antenna cable to the MT-1000A SMA connector port. Once the MT-1000A detects a valid GPS signal, the GPS LED light will illuminate green on the top of the tester. Next, press the Utilities tab on the tester and choose the GPS icon to launch the satellite verification test. Press the Start button located on the top right corner of the tester to launch the GPS verification. At minimum, the MT-1000A must detect four satellites with strong signals in green. Exit the GPS test and return to the GPS icon in the toolbar. You must complete a minimum of 30 minutes of GPS sync mode before starting the PTP sync test. From the main GUI, select the Utilities tab and choose the Scenario Manager. If you already see the PTP sync test next to the Scenario Manager, skip to the next section. Next, click the Import icon to add the PTP sync test file to the tester. Highlight the PTP sync test and click Edit to change any necessary test settings. For example, if you have an OTDR installed on the tester, you must change the settings to port 3 instead of port 2. You may also want to disable the sync e testing, change the duration in minutes, or change the Ethernet cable length from meters to feet. Press the PTP sync test icon next to the scenario manager to launch the auto test application. Verify both checkboxes are selected, increase the window size to view test status, and press the start button located in the top right corner. The test status is displayed below, starting with the first step to verify the pretest warm up and synchronization were completed in green. This step is the same information found by pressing the GPS icon in the toolbar. In this step, you'll connect the SFP Plus port 1 displayed on the tester to the PTP boundary clock router facing the cell site using a single mode fiber jumper. Enritsu developed test use case scenarios designed to verify the performance and configuration of the edge PTP network timing and synchronization. Enritsu recommends performing this measurement on the test boundary clock router facing the 5G NR cell site. The port under test must be configured for a master clock to generate the PTP announce and sync messaging required to perform an accurate measurement. Choose the type of GPS antenna used for the MT-1000A reference. If connected to a reference GPS on site, 
Press the coaxial cable to insert the antenna cable parameters. Start with the coaxial cable series, typically found on the coax cable jacket. Press next to see additional choices in cable series. Select the cable series and then choose the cable model from the drop down list of options. Finally, select the GPS antenna cable length from the Enritsu MT1008 tester to the GPS antenna receiver. Last step is to insert the length of the fiber jumper from the tester to the port under test SFP. Name the test result file name, which will be saved internally to the scenario logs folder. The test will now execute based on the sync test setup steps performed earlier. To view the PTP sync test in progress, click on the top right-hand menu toolbar and choose the wrench icon to display running tests. Press Launch New Window to open a new test window of the PTP sync test measurements in real time. A new test window will appear. Click on the results window and view the measurement summary results for max timing error. To view the one-way delay measurements, press the OWD tab and toggle between sync and delay request PTP messages. To view the packet timing error, select Packet TE tab and choose Tear for timing error. To switch between PTP sync test auto test and the real time view, press the sync test icon on the bottom left hand corner of the GUI. The application toolbar will display with open test to choose from. Press the PTP Sync Test app to view the auto test status. The PTP Sync Test will display blue status updates of the Edge Grandmaster Clock status and priority settings throughout the test sequence. Total number of Grandmaster changes are reported at the end of the test. If the test results fail due to a test threshold not being met, the test failure is highlighted in red. The user has the choice to continue the test, exit the test, or restart the test. A failure report is generated for each case. Once the test completes, the real-time view automatically closes and you return to the PTP sync test window. To open and view the results report, click on the top right-hand toolbar and press the home icon. Select the internal drive and choose the scenario logs folder. Choose the PTP sync test folder and select the date of the test you completed. Select the results file.pdf and press view file to review your results. You can also copy the file to a USB memory stick for further review.